Japan is an archipelago consisting of 6,852 islands. The four largest are Honshu, Hokkaido, Kyushu, and Shikoku, which make up about 97% of Japan's land. Its total land area is about 88,000 square miles, roughly the same as the state of Minnesota, so the need for big trucks is low. The population of Japan is about 127 million, with the capital city of Tokyo having 9 million people. Japan is one of the world's most densely populated and urbanized countries in the world. This results in many small and winding roads, which require that the trucks are not too big and have a short turning radius. Over 90% of domestic freight in Japan is transported by truck, which means that trucking is an integral part of almost every industry, and that most of the products in Japan is transported by truck. There are approximately 1.17 million commercial trucks registered for use in Japan. Type of trucks in Japan There is a small number of Volvo and Mercedes-Benz trucks running around on the Japanese highways. But the most sold trucks in Japan are the brands Fuso, Hino, Isuzu, and UD, all of which are manufactured in Japan. Most of the trucks are in the light to medium duty range, as they drive with lower weight and maneuverability is important. Also, they typically have no bunk, as most traffic is in and out of Tokyo, and they rarely sleep in the truck. Hino is a part of the huge Toyota Motor Corporation and is the largest truck manufacturer in Japan, and the company's history can be traced back to 1910. The export of Japan commercial vehicles is a big part of the Japanese economy. Approximately 645,000 vehicles were exported in 2021 for a value of almost 9 billion US dollars. Pay in Japan the average pay for a heavy truck driver is 4,763,461 Japanese yen a year and 2,290 yen an hour in Japan, equivalent to almost 33,000 US dollars in a year, depending on the skill level and number of years of experience. In a country with a rapidly aging population, the shortage of workers has left many companies in the country without enough drivers, which help push the pay up. Japanese commercial transportation firms are now turning to women to fill the gap. However, they aren't a popular career choice for women, as women in Japan earn 44% less than men, despite spending five times more time on childcare and housework than males do. Truck Rules Japan was the first jurisdiction in the world to set fuel efficiency performance regulations for commercial trucks and buses in 2005. Japan also implemented a vehicle fuel efficiency certification program centered around a combination of engine dynamometer testing and vehicle simulation modeling. Vehicles that outperform the fuel economy and emission standards may be eligible for additional reductions in vehicle taxes, which means that more companies focus on fuel economy. You'd think the Japanese were leading the way in electric trucks, but that's not the case. Many of the big truck brands in Japan, such as Isuzu and Hino, had been hesitant about building all-electric trucks given the high hurdles. Batteries are costly, so it's difficult to keep prices down, said an executive at a commercial vehicle maker. Their infrastructure also causes problems in implementing the new type of truck. Trucks and other cargo vehicles accounted for 36.8% of all carbon dioxide emissions by the transportation sector, while passenger cars produced 45.9%. The speed limit for trucks over 8 tons, or 17,640 pounds, is 80 km per hour, or 50 miles per hour, on divided national expressways. Many narrow streets and curves sets a naturally low speed, as the many winding streets do not allow for high speed. It is mandatory for commercial drivers in Japan to take alcohol breath tests at the start and end of each driving shift, intended to stop drunk driving. However, this implementation has not been as effective as they expected. Also, a government survey found that 80% of companies that employed truck drivers breached the labor standards law. With illegal overtime, some truck drivers were on duty for about 320 hours per month, exceeding the basic upper limit of 293 hours set by the government. 
Dekotora. A host of Japanese haulers are obsessed with chrome and lights, and a lot of trucks in Japan have various cab panels, fenders, and wheel trims made out of this shiny material. The Dekotora, an abbreviation for decoration truck, is a type of extravagantly decorated truck in Japan. Commonly displaying neon or ultraviolet lights, these trucks have extravagant paint and stainless or golden parts on both the exterior and the interior of the vehicle. These Dekotora trucks became popular after a series of 10 movies called Toraku Yaro was released in 1975, featuring truckers who drove garishly decorated trucks around Japan. We hope you liked this and found this video interesting and educational. Which country do you think we should look at next? Let us know down in the comment section. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for much more.